so clearly, um, many of the greatest creative achievements across industries are the result of partnerships. And uh, partnerships can make all the difference in holding us accountable and helping us refine our ideas and helping us vetting our ideas. Um, but also, at the same time, we've all heard nightmares about partnerships. Uh, and it's frankly scary as hell to work with somebody else uh, in our creative pursuits, uh, especially when it's uh, you know, some um, amazing vision that we have, engaging someone else to really be in thick and thin uh, is difficult. And uh, so clearly, partnership is worthy of exploration, which is uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to um, have a discussion about partnership. And so what I thought I'd, I'd do is kind of start with the question about um, how should you find a partner? And you know, can it be a stranger? Must it be a friend? Getting from stranger to friend. But really, you know, what should we keep in mind when we're looking for a partner? I think um, the first thing is it has to come from uh, the need. You're, as one person, you're missing something. So you seek for complementary capability. And uh, that's the need part of the partner. And then, of course, the complementary capability alone won't make partnership work. It has, there has to be um, compatibility. That, so these two have to come together. And do you know from the beginning, or do you? Uh... <laughs> no, no, of course you don't. Um, so it's important to understand what are somebody's values and somebody's goals. And uh, therefore, uh, also, do you respect somebody professionally and personally? And therefore, I don't think really it works to start a partnership with a complete stranger. I think you have to know the person fairly well before you can enter into some sort of partnership. Now, what if you know them too well? Well, I think one, <laughs> one important thing is not to confuse or not to think that because, for example, you have a good friendship with somebody, that that automatically qualifies that person as a partner. Um, I think that's maybe a mistake that's easily made because you feel you get along well with someone, um, but uh, you don't know how, how they work and, and if that works together. So one suggestion we have is to actually, before you make a more uh, serious commitment in terms of working with someone, is to actually go and do a sort of trial project or test project together. Hmm. Now, how about, I think that when, when partners start to work together and they don't know each other, it's easier to have that kind of difficult you know, legal conversation, well, what happens if, you know, but how about when you have a personal partnership that becomes a professional partnership? Did you ever have, I mean, did, did you ever go through that phase at all of thinking about, you know, how do we reconcile problems if things take a turn for the worst? Sure. Uh, during the process of uh, incorporating, uh, we consulted with our lawyer, mm -hmm. and uh, he asked us to create the uh, agreement, uh, written very formally, um, which also states the um, how to resolve the, the company if something doesn't work. And also, we have to name someone we can ask uh, for the help hmm. when we can't solve things by ourselves. Uh, that formality really gave, uh, gave us sort of a um, realization um, it is a serious thing, mm -hmm. and uh, that helped quite a bit. And I think it is particularly important when you team up with friends or family. Because sometimes people think there is some kind of, you have a special connection or there's some implicit understanding. Uh, but I think particularly those relationships, because they are very valuable to us, we have to make sure that there is some, something formal that we can fall back on and something that's explicit up front so that we, we have a shared understanding, okay, things can always go wrong. So let's be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. And then it's sort of actually a, re a, re a relief uh, there's a burden that goes away because you know, okay, we know, we know what to do if this really tanks. I think it's a great point because a lot of these partnerships are organic and, uh, and therefore are not explicit by nature. They just sort of happen. People come up with an idea together and start to pursue it. So having those explicit conversations up front and uh, maybe even engaging a third party to be like the official kind of mediator 
is a is a is a practice that you found uh, helpful. It sounds like. Oh, totally. Yeah, and and I really think maybe sometimes people feel that sounds like you don't trust someone if you mm -hmm. ask them to make an agreement. But I think it's really the opposite. It's something that um, makes things clear and, and gives you peace. How do you disagree and agree, and how do you resolve uh, the 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 occasions where you might not see things from the same perspective? Firstly, I think disagreement is actually really important. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't disagree, then there's something missing, because disagreement is a source of um, uh, creative and productive friction. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes we even provoke, provoke a disagreement just to sort of play devil's advocate or try to understand where the other person is coming from or really test how convinced they are of what they are putting forth. Um. Well, a first thing is uh, to just check back, now double check whether we have shared goal. And uh, if we don't have shared goal, it's very difficult to resolve the disagreement. But as long as we have shared goal, it's about technicality. It's about how to get there. So then we can really argue uh, different scenarios and uh, pray, as you said, the advocate to make sure the, we pick the best scenario. Of course, everything is hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Do you find that partnership makes you more productive or less? <laughs> For us, definitely yes. Well, that's why we have, uh, what, 14 years of uh, partnership um, in business. And uh, the reason why I say so is it's, uh, it makes us faster thinker. Um, it's very difficult to as I, define the idea in my own head. Um, great advantage of having a partnership is the, uh, as I, that we can use just conversation to think through. And very often we can be, we have a sort of half-baked idea or a sketch and we throw it over to the other person, and we get very quickly some input or feedback, and that keeps a back and forth that allows us to advance much quicker than uh, in a case where you really have to bring something to a certain level of refinement and then compare the different ideas and, and share them with somebody else. That takes much longer. Here we can really have this quick thing and quickly also eliminate um, things that are not promising, and so we avoid that going off on a tangent and then only a day later realizing this wasn't worth it. Um, and uh, uh, also, I think when you just work on your own, you can lose perspective. Uh, you can either be overwhelmed by a problem or, uh, again, you can lose focus. And so I, or simply I think it's, forget. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so I think it's good to have that other person uh, that you can bounce off ideas. I want to thank you both for for joining us. Thank you.